Okay, I'm with the RHS group and we're just going to do a demonstration on how to mark out a three, four, five triangle to so that you can create a rectangle four meters by three. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a baseline. So we knock a peg in and then you get your tape measure and what you need to remember about using a tape measure is that they don't all start from zero you can see this has got a bit of a toggle on it so I need to measure how big the toggle is so in this case unless you've got someone holding it of course the toggle is well this one actually is about three centimeters so I've got to take that into consideration so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure four meters and three centimeters along and knock another peg in so we'll just pull that across there and I'm going to if you can swing that around that's brilliant uh, so I've got to my yeah. four meters and three. Check your tape. Give it a little bit of a uh, pull it up and down to make sure it's nice and solid. Knock your next peg in. Okay. So now you've got that. That's at your your uh, four meter mark or four meters three centimeters in my case. I'm now going to take the tape over here. Okay. And. What we're going to do is, I'm going to measure three meters on this tape, bearing in mind the toggle, so it's going to be three meters and three centimeters. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the other tape and measure five from there. And it's going to create a three, four, five triangle. Okay, which if any of you are into Pythagoras and his theorem, the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. I'll put a little explanation of that on the video. <laughs> So the theory behind marking out a right angle all goes back to a man called Pythagoras who had this theory that for right angle triangles, that's 90 degree angle triangles, that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. Whatever this is squared plus whatever that is squared, this will be the square root of those two added together. Now. To make things simple, what builders do and what a number of people do is they have this little trick whereby if that is 3 and that is 4, then this will equal 5 and that will give you a right angle. So it's called a 3, 4, 5 triangle and it works really well. So you can do it if this was 30 and that was 40, then this would equal 50. So whatever you multiply the 3 by, as long as you do the same to the other two measurements, it will always equal a right angle. So we've got a 90 degree right angle. So let's have a look at the, the next sort of part of this. So what Pythagoras is saying is saying it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That gives you the hypotenuse. So again, to follow this through numbers, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16 equals 25. The square root of 25 equals C, C equals 5. And so that's basically what we do to mark out our shapes nice and square. We use a 3, 4, 5 triangle. It's nice and easy. So that's what we're going to have a look at. And uh, it's really useful if you're marking out even bigger areas like football pitches and that. Only in that case, you'd use 30 meters, 40 meters and 50 meters to make it more accurate over a larger distance. Remember to check the diagonals as well to ensure that it's square. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to measure from here. So I'm basically triangulating the next point. And if this is five, or in my case, five meters and three centimeters, and this is three, it will be a right angle. Okay, so there's my five meters three, there's my three meters three, and there, check that they're nice and straight, and then hopefully, hopefully we should have it nice and square. And then what you can do is you can do the same thing over here. So now I'm going to bring my tapes over a bit. 
Okay, so I'm going to bring that tape. It's going to be my five meters three. I'm going to wrap this tape in a little bit and make sure that's on the three. Okay, so there's my three meters three. There's my five three. Get them nice and straight. And that's where I've got to put my next peg in. Yeah, so we've got a we've got our three, four, five triangle, and then I'm doing it on the other side. So again, it's three that way, four that way, five this way. So I'll knock that in. Okay. Now, if it's right, if we've got it right, our check measurement from here to that one should be four meters at three centimeters yeah. if we've got it wrong then we have to start all over again so let's have a look um well there's my mark here and we run it along let's see we're on the four not there but it's on the there's the four so uh, that's that's okay now if you want to check it if you if it goes very much you make a mistake you can check it and i'm just going to show you how to do that so to check it, what we can do, I can go from here and I can measure three meters this way or three meters and three centimeters in my case. It's actually just a fraction under. That's probably where my discrepancy is. And then I can go here. What will this measurement be? Seven, three, yeah. Seven meters three. And actually it should be seven, six, shouldn't it? Which it is seven, six seven meters if it was starting from zero and then this one should be what will the measurement be up here excellent 12 9 and this is well it's just a fraction more actually 12 10 okay so you get it with it with the bumpy ground you might get a little bit of an accuracy but you could check it that way so if in doubt you could just go around and just adjust it a bit Okay, and that's basically your rectangle marked out. So we've done the diagonals. So obviously, normally when you mark these things out, the one thing you must do is check the diagonals are the same on any square or rectangle or window or door or football pitch. Check your diagonals are right. If they're right, then you should be okay. You haven't got a rhombus or a parallelogram. Okay, so let's have a go at that. Give that a go. Uh, we're just going to spray everything uh, just because another grip's been using it so we're going to just give it all a, a quick spray 